We back at it. Great Man of God Media TV back with another reaction video. Pop the balloon or find love. Listen, our lad is shooting out these episodes at least more frequently now. So reaction channels like myself, we got to get on our job, man. This is a, uh, hey, hey, man, I love it. But <laughs> before we complaining about, oh, well, she's not releasing enough episodes. And now it's like, damn, back to back to back episodes. So she's filming a lot. But this is great because the audience is growing. Um, the last episode has over a million views, right? And it's only been out for a little over a week, I believe, right? And this was just dropped yesterday, has potentially over a half a million views. So listen, man, this is great. I'm going to give you guys my reaction. So here we go. All right. So the guy's here. Yeah, we're gonna see what this shit's we're gonna see what this shit's about because uh these episodes are fire. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to everything and what they got to say. It's gonna be fire. Oh my man is back. Okay. Alright, that's what's up. everyone and welcome back to my channel it's your host arlette and we are back with another episode of pop the balloon or find love and we've got the men lined up make some noise guys all right okay. so we're looking at we got one two three four five six seven okay eight guys all right all right that's what's up good lineup i said eight between eight to ten that's the standard so you know arlette is the standard when it, when it comes to these pop the balloon or find love shows but, you know, like I always said, it's just more aesthetic, aesthetically professional, I should say, to have at least eight to ten contestants on these Pop the Balloon or Fine Love shows. So, yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and bring out some single ladies. When they come on out here, if she's your type, you know, the hair looking right, makeup, outfit, whatever it is, you know, if you like what she's saying, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything that you're just like, no, mm -mm, this is not the girl for me, I cannot see myself dating her, go ahead and pop your balloon, and then I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. Y'all ready? Okay, let's do this. So, let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Hello, welcome. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Hi, I'm Dreva. Dreva. Okay, how old are you? I'm above 30. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you mean about 30. You're either 30 or you're not. She came in there with a lot of energy, too. Uh, all right, the, the, the dress, the pink dresses. It's uh, it's decent. The shoes, the little heel she got on. She bow legged though. She bow legged than a motherfucker, man. I be telling these these goddamn women, man. Why don't y'all why don't y'all just get fashion tips from Arlette? She's the one that always outdresses all these females. Like she needs to to have a separate like image consulting business. She really does. She could be an image consultant for these ladies and everybody that comes on the show. Arlette needs to pick out her their outfits based off their physique and their skin tone. Like everything that Arlette wears, she knows her body type and the type of style of clothing that she wears. And that shows and her style complements who she is. And so she's able to do that for herself. She could do that for these women. Um, I think she definitely needs, if she hasn't already, become an image consultant for these females. That'll be super dope. Above 30, you should be proud yes, of that. Yes, I'm about 30. Okay, okay. <laughs> and what do you do? So I'm a podcaster of We Like It Hot Podcast. I own Beach 7 Hair, and I'm a UGC creator. Mm, okay, very nice. And now what do you look for in a man? So what I look for in a man is someone who knows himself and is someone who is consistent and someone who will value me. 
Mm, okay. Yeah. So what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Honestly, just someone who's not going to like put like, who's not going to put me as a priority. Mm. Okay. Like I just need someone who's going to put me as a priority. Got it. Okay. Like okay. you can have a kid just as long as I'm a priority. Oh, welcome. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Hi, I'm Driva. Driva. Okay. How old are you? I'm above 30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> above 30, you should be pregnant. Yes, What's I'm above age? 30. Okay, okay. And what do you do? So I'm a podcaster of We Like It Hot Podcast. I own Beach 7 Hair, and I'm a UGC creator. Mm, okay, very nice. And now what do you look for in a man? So what I... What, what's UGC? Somebody in the comments can let me know what the hell is a UGC. I'm not sure what that I is. I look for in a man is someone who knows himself and is someone who is consistent and someone who will value me. Mm, okay. So what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Honestly, just someone who's not going to like put like, who's not going to put me as a priority. Okay. Like I just need someone who's going to put me as a priority. Got it. Okay. Like okay. you can have a kid just as long as I'm a priority. Mm, okay. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. You going, you're trying to say that the kid that you're trying to say that you are more important than the kid. Is that what you try to say? Cause kids first, kids are first. You know, I always tell females because you know I, I like to date women with kids. Yeah, my kids come first over you. You are a priority, but my kids are first. So I'm not sure if you're trying to say that you want to put yourself over priority of the children, or you're trying to say you're a priority as well. So. You know, I, either way, I hopefully, you know, that makes more sense if you're trying to say that. <laughs> and now what are some things you like to do for fun? Okay, so some things I like to do for fun. I love my podcast. I love going, I love tubing. Mm -hmm. I've just gotten into tubing. I love hiking. I love working out. I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to like, you know, <laughs> stay fit. <laughs> um, and I love just connecting with people. Okay, very nice. So, Driva, uh -huh. you got no pop balloons. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I'm now going to switch it on over to you. Okay. First round, everyone always says. What is this nigga thinking about? This nigga right here. <laughs> With these niggas, man, listen, all these contestants that go on this show, you know, you're being recorded. Like every move, every breath, every blink of an eye, every everything that you're doing is recorded. So make sure you're paying attention and focus on the, the, the task at hand. Like, I don't know what this nigga thinking about. Maybe he thinking about uh, he ain't get enough sleep. Or maybe he thinking about he parked his car in the wrong place and he can't wait to get out after the filming after the, the, the filming of the goddamn show. Who the hell knows what this nigga thinking about right here? You know, everybody else you see is looking at her. He is wandering off looking at some other shit. What is your ass thinking about, my dude? What, what are you thinking about, bro? Like, you ain't like your outfit? Is that... What are you thinking about? Like, we know what these guys are focused on. They focus on the person at hand. This dude, whew, I don't know what you're thinking about, bro. Oh my God, it's so tough. It's hard because you don't get to ask them a question. I'm going to okay. have you pop two of the guys' balloons just kind of based off of what you're seeing, what doesn't really fit into your usual, you know, physical type, whatever it may be. So let me hand you on over that. And then go ahead and pop those two. And then I'll go ahead and ask you, like, what about them makes them not really your type? Honestly, you guys are really handsome. I was not expecting this. <laughs> like, hold on. Okay, can I, can I just like look at everybody? I'm just keep it a buck. You 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 should be expecting this because Arlette has a premium show. She don't pick ugly people on her show. Everybody's attractive on the show, so this shouldn't be surprised when she handpicks people to be on her show. Everybody's attractive. <laughs> Y'all should know that. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Girl, what you looking <laughs> at? Okay. Um, I don't know. Like, let's see. You do look. You look a little bit older. Okay, and then one more. And maybe you. I don't know. You look. Mm. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not good at that. Okay, so you go make up your guy. I feel like so like you though. I don't know. <laughs> okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Reginald. I'm 33 years old. Okay, and Reginald, what do you do? I work with youth and adults in the community, helping them live better lives and teaching them life skills. Okay, all right. So you did have your as a what? Are you a life coach? What does that mean? I mean, it's it's good that you work with the youth, but like, what what is your title? I'm interested. I'm interested to know. I mean, that does sound like a dope job, but like, what are you a life coach or a mentor? That's what it sounds like to me. Your balloon unpopped for Driva. Why did you have it unpopped? Man, the way you came out, just such mm -hmm. confidence. It was amazing. Just your personality seems mm -hmm. like it's just beautiful. Uh, somebody I could really see myself getting along with. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I would say she def she definitely has a bubbly personality for sure. And she seems like she has the main character syndrome, like always wants to be center of attention, which is why the first thing she said was, you got to make me a priority. Like, okay, well... Some niggas don't like that, but some niggas do. So, but yeah, she definitely has that. I am the center of attention. I am the main character. Focus on me type of type of energy that she gives off. So, all right. So, Driva, why we end up popping his? The only reason I popped it because I was thinking that you were a little bit older. That was the only reason. Okay. I'm all sorry. Right. No, I, I, you're the only 33. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go on to our other one that okay. you popped over here. All right, if we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Ernesto, 31 years old. Okay. And Ernesto, what do you do? Uh, I'm a model, actor, and barber. Okay, and why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, beautiful, you know, great smile, great personality, very driven. And she seems like she'd be cool to, like, stay at home and chill with and also to go out with, so. But, yeah. you. <laughs> now, why do we end up popping his? Same reason. I, I was thinking that you were like older 30s, but you're oh. only, you said you're only 31. 31, th 32 in July. My bad. No, no, you're good. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right, Driva. So I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question just to kind of help you, you know, narrow it down, see who, more, who is more your type, all that good stuff. Okay. Who has kids? Is that a deal breaker for you? No, mm. it's it's because like you guys have priorities above me. <laughs> Pop the balloon, because I'm not putting my kid over. I'm not putting you over my goddamn kid. Pop the damn balloon, bro. Like that's that's. I told you she got that main character energy, that main character syndrome, center of attention. Yeah, she's attractive. She has a bubbly personality, but like. Dude, why you always want to be the the center of attention? Like you put me as a priority over your kids. I I just read that about her. And when she asked that question, how many kids you got? Oh, that means you go put your kids over me. Uh, duh. Like what the hell? Come on now, I want to pop. So mm. yeah, just pop your balloon. If you got kids, pop it. Just pop I it. I told you. It. I told your ass, nigga. Okay. The fuck? Okay. So two. Okay. Let's go over to those Shit. guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and age. My name is Priest. I'm 33. Okay. Priest, what do you do? I'm a comedian. <gasps> okay. I love huh? a comedian. So we see you pop for the kids. How many kids do you have? This nigga's a co What? This, that nigga threw me off. You a comedian, nigga? That's, that's a joke in itself. That's a punchline right there. I wouldn't expect that. <laughs> yeah. I got one. Okay. Yeah, I'm bougie with my, with my thing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> he 10. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, nah, nah. And I got a job too, so I, I can't put my money over, you know, put my money fine. beneath you and shit like that. But that's some badass heels you got on. Thanks. Yeah, you look like <laughs> Janet Jackson. You look like Janet Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, no apart from him, you know, Jackson, having a kid and, and everything, yeah, is cute. he someone that you're tired? Yeah, I think so. Okay. How old did you say you were? 33. 33? Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's giving. It's giving. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's head over here. Your name and age. My name is Brian. I'm 40. Really? Okay. I'm 41 in September. Okay, did they expect that? Him off eight. Got the 40s. I feel great because the brothers don't look like he's 40. Just like me. Y'all niggas are 44. I don't look like I'm my age, but and she thought the other niggas was older, right? She looked at him and thought he was young and he's actually older. Ha! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But shout out to the 40 plus gang. I love that shit. That's dope. That's dope. Age, baby. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, what do you do? I'm an aircraft mechanic for a major airline. 
That's what's in up. Houston. So okay. I just came out here to meet you. <laughs> Where are you from, New Orleans? And I had to pop because I do have a daughter. She's 19. Layla. Shout out to Layla. Oh. Nigga, that don't even count. You got, because I got, well, I got a lot of kids. But he got one child that's 19. The child ain't even in the goddamn house. I could get I, I get it if you got children that are five years and under, which I do. So when I date somebody, gotta make sure that the children are around the same age as mine, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, but he got a you don't really count that. You know what I'm saying? You got older kids that are grown, that shit don't really count, in my opinion. So oh, wow. black yeah. don't crack, y'all. Yeah. Like you look good. Go ahead, Thank bro. You. Go Thank ahead. You. Go Thank ahead. You. Thank you, love. I'm gonna just say props. Thank you, love. I got mm -hmm. that fault in the youth. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Okay. So exactly. he said he does have the daughter, mm -hmm. with that being your deal breaker. But is he someone that is your type? Yeah. Your daughter is actually grown. You said she she's grown. 19? She grown. Oh, wow. Yes. So it's, like, it almost doesn't even count. Right. Like, told you. You were saying her, the daughter being 19. That was... Yeah, that almost didn't count. You could have probably count. kept yours. I could have kept mine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any kids? No. Okay. okay. How old are you? Above 30. Above 30? Mm -hmm. You're not confident in it? I'm waiting for my husband to have a kid. Hold up, nigga. You said you, said you was... About 30. Then you said above 30. So you cap it. Why don't you just say your real age? Because this dude said he's 40. I'm 44. We both don't look like we're on our, in our 40s. And you originally said you was about 30. The dude asked you how old are you. You said above 30. So what is it? Are you about 30 or above 30? Give us the exact number. When you start off with the goddamn lie... That's a red flag. And the dude that popped, he probably popped because of that reason. So, hey. Okay. Because I didn't tell my age, y'all. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's, it's cool. It's, I think you got to exactly. be confident in your age. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter how old you are. Exactly. Cool. We all grown up here. Okay. Yep. You know, we don't want little girls. We want grown women. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Facts. So definitely stand on that age. Facts. Because the older you look, the older you are, the better you look. If you ask me. Right. Depending upon the industry that you're in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you, though. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on over to our well, hot balloons over here. If we can have pops. your name and age. Absolutely. My name is Demetrius, and I'm 36 years old. And Demetrius, what do you do? I am a talent acquisition, so staffing or recruiter. Okay. Very nice. And now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Exactly what he said. Uh, the, the, I hate to say the lack of confidence in expressing the age. Okay. Mm -hmm. We all over 30 over on the stage. We don't mind you being over 30. Mm -hmm. We don't mind you being 40. Mm -hmm. we, we came exactly. on the show to make sure that we find somebody that we connect with. And, right. and just being honest and just, be, you know, open up front matters mm -hmm. to men. Exactly. So that's, that's really what that was for me specifically. Right. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you're, you're very gorgeous uh, and driven. And I, and I like that. Thank you. <laughs> and now, is uh, Demetrius someone that's your type? Um, how did you say you were? 36. 36? Um, I would actually have to get to know you a little bit more past what you just told me. Yeah. I understand okay. I'm the only one with no kids, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Okay, just teasing. thank you. That's All righty. Yeah. So we did get another pop over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Mike. Uh, I'm 37. And Mike, what do you do? I'm a fitness instructor and a poet as well. Okay. And up. then why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, she says, you know, no children. I have a daughter that's 19 and my son is 14. So, you know, they're important to me, so. Okay. For sure. But I mean, you, you look good, like you take care of yourself and all that. So, I mean, I respect, I respect that you, you know, you want to reserve that for somebody. Okay. So, yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Now, if Mike were to approach you, is that someone you would go for? Yeah. Okay. I'm more into personality. I'm more into like a connection, like having a conversation with somebody. Like, do I feel comfortable in your energy is what I'm trying to feel. Mm -hmm. Like, looks is cool, but does somebody feel, does this person make me feel comfortable in their energy is what I'm looking for. No, I feel it. I respect it. Okay. Thank you. Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is James. Gourmet Pies. Facebook, Instagram. Check me out. <laughs> Um, I am 37. That would have popped because he's trying to promote his business. You're on the show looking for love, not trying to promote your damn business or networking about whatever business you got going on. 
Focus on trying to find a goddamn connection and stop trying to promote your business. I mean, I get it. You got your own business, but niggas is going to find you anyway. You know what I'm saying? You there to find a goddamn potential mate, a suitor. Focus on that and not trying to promote your damn business. So if I was the female, I would have popped like based off that. I'm like, are you looking for love or are you trying to promote your business? Which one is it? Which is your priority type shit? Seven years old. Okay. Uh, James, what do you do? I know you said gourmet pies. Yeah, I make the world's best gourmet sweet potato pies. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm also a retired vet. So, thank you for your service. Oh, appreciate that. Appreciate it. <laughs> and now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, she said anybody with kids, <laughs> and I have two. Okay. Um, one is 12, the other one's 18. Um, so, I got kids, but I love your energy. I love the fact that you're driven and all that as well as a fellow entrepreneur and somebody who's living their dreams. That's somebody that's, you know, that's important. I see so. you. I know you do. I know you do. I see you when you was coming out. I saw you, but you was like, you don't, you don't think nobody with kids were. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. All right. Thank you. I just want to preface that. Oh, like this whole no kids thing. Y'all. I just got out of a two out of a two year thing with somebody with kids that like never put me first at all. So it, I just I feel like I'm like a little bit I don't know. Mm. You're supposed to be second. What are you talking about? Like your kids is always going to going to be priority over you, no matter what. So you go day to do with kids, they're always going to put their kids over you. This is how it goes. So you need to find somebody that has no kids potentially. So it is what it is. On guard. Can I say something towards yeah. that? Yeah. Like, um, for me, it's God first, and mm -hmm. then my wife, you know, and then the kids. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He specifically said wife. You dating somebody? They're gonna put. They're gonna put uh, your kids over you. Once y'all have that foundation of having a black nuclear family, yeah, just like you said, you know what I'm saying. And 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 when you have the patriarchal system which is now matriarchal. I'm trying to get into a whole different bag of, of, of uh, topics here, but just follow me, right? Our patriarchal system that we're supposed to have is supposed to be man, woman, and child. Above that is our creator, right? Creator, man, woman, and child. But nowadays it's the woman, children, and the man doesn't exist because we're not getting married like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it's supposed to be. Traditionally, it's supposed to be through the creator, man, woman, and child. When you're dating somebody, just dating, they're always going to put their kids over you. Always. So. Yes, sir. Okay. But you guys okay. are all amazing. <laughs> all right, let's all go amazing. back this way. Thank you. Okay, we end up getting a oh. pop over here. Why did we end up popping? If we could start with your name and age first. My name is Eric, and and I am 38. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so you're obviously a bright, shining light. You walk in, everyone, you light up the room, right? Your personality is great. But I think that when you're in a situation like this, we've got to start with honesty. And we're, like you said, we're all over 30, right? And I think it's important to to start off, hey, this is my age, this is, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you're not okay saying that, then it, you know, it just seems like we're starting off on a bad foundation. Yeah, it doesn't matter, the age, it's about that she started off with a lie. It could have been, hey, my shoe size is, somebody asked her, what's your shoe size? I'm a size six, but she's actually a size 10. You don't start off the relationship with the lie because you basically how you start a relationship is how you end a relationship. So you start off with a lie, it's gonna end with a lie. So yeah, you shot yourself in the foot by basically saying, Yeah, um, I'm almost 30, which was a very shaky, questionable answer. Like, what is your actual age? Then the dude asked you how old you are, you were like over 30. Like, you ain't get no direct answer. You would ask that twice and you dropped the ball. So yeah, I understand why everybody popped, because I would have popped too. Straight up. You know, so that was it for me. But cool. I really, I really enjoy the way you're put together. I love the colorful uh, demeanor, mm -hmm. right? And your presence is beautiful. So that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. I just want to preface one thing. Yeah. I do a lot of brand deals and they, 
I do an age range. So that's right. why I really didn't want my age on the internet. I no, no, it's understandable, warrant. of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. If I was that, dating just... you, you could definitely know right. my age, just letting yeah. you know. Okay. But the internet, like, with, like, working with certain brands and right. stuff, like, sorry. Yeah. But. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know about that. Somebody who's a brand ambassador who has more experience in that field, I'm just going to give you my opinion on that. I think that's cap. Uh, if you are, you have some kind of branding deal and you're afraid to show or tell your age on social media, that's cap. I think people are going to find out how old you are anyway. But for me, I think that's cap. So I don't know. Somebody, Maybe somebody who has experience being a brand ambassador can, can shed some light on that, more insight on that. But I think what she's saying is cap. And regardless, she lied anyway, so it don't matter. Okay. So, All right. There you go. All right, Dreva. Well, that was all the balloons popped. We weren't able to find you a match today, but thank you so much for coming on. Thanks, y'all. You guys are amazing. Bye. Let's take this mic. Let's give it up for her. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine, how old are you? I'm 30. 30, okay, and what do you do? I am a dental assistant, currently in school to be a hygienist, and then hopefully going on to become a dentist after that. Okay, all right, and now what do you look for in a man? Um, I need someone who's driven, um, someone who's caring, patient, mm. um, someone who's funny, because I'm funny, so <laughs> if you can match my funny, I'd like that. Okay, <laughs> and now what are some of your deal breakers? Um, honestly, just the top one is just a liar. Mm. If you can't tell me the truth, then there's really no no getting past that. Okay. Uh be careful, because the other girl lied, so be careful. <laughs> other girl lied about her age. You you start off saying you don't like liars. So, so far, she's cool. Uh, she don't have no tattoos, at least that I can see or visibly see, which I do like, because I'm not a big fan of tattoos. Um, But she's, I mean, she, you know, I would say not my type physically but she's attractive she's definitely attractive just something that i would not put potentially go for it's just how her body looks for me um if she had a different body type i would probably like go after her but she's just not my cup of tea but uh we'll see all right. And now what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to rollerblade. I like to kayak, um, hiking, because, you know, I live in Arizona, but right. not this time of year, just so you know. <laughs> um, hang by the pool. I like to go out and try new places to eat, mm -hmm. things like that. Okay. All right, cool. So there are no pop balloons yet, so we're actually going to switch it on over to you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hand you... It's a little toothpick. Okay. And off of the first round, I'm going to have you pop two balloons. Just, you know, off of appearance, what's not your usual type, what, you okay. know, you wouldn't really go for. So I'll have you pop those two. And then once you pop them, I'll go ahead and ask you why we ended up popping. Okay. Um, everybody looks good, by the way. I see I was popping tags, too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then one more. Um, Okay, you can stay there. We'll start with him first. Okay. All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm James with James Gourmet Pies, 37. Okay, and James, you had your balloon unpopped for Jasmine. Why so? I just wanted to check her out. Like, I'm not one of them people that do surface level dating, so I wanted to hear what you had going on, you know. When I heard kayaking, I was ready to pop, because <laughs> you know, you know, like, I don't do all that, but, okay. you know, but I believe in letting, you know, her have her own... Hobbies. Her own hobbies mm. were. Okay. All yeah. right. And then why do we end up popping uh, James Bella? Um, you're very handsome. Short. Um, just the attraction level is mm. not there. Um, you're a little bit on the shorter side. I told you. Um, and that's really, really about it. I like that you make pies, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you. We ship nationwide. JamesGourmet.com. James Gourmet. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then let's go to the other one. That nigga always plugging his business, bro. I don't like that. When you ended up popping, we can have your name and age. My name is Reginald. I'm 33 years old. Okay. And uh, Reginald, you had your balloon unpopped. Why? I wanted to give you a chance, you know, just to get to know you. You are attractive, of course. Thank you. I did have some questions in mind that I wanted to ask you. Didn't really get to that part, but 
It's okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. And now, Jasmine, why did you end up popping his balloon? Well, you're very well spoken, um, but I did end up popping your balloon. It's just the hair. I like it a little bit more tamed, I guess. Mm -hmm. I like hair, just I need it a little bit more, more tamed. Okay. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and let's go back over here. Okay. His hair is natural. It's an afro. Um, I don't see the big deal because it's it's, a, it's in the afro. I mean, I'm sure he gets his hair braided. He just wanted to wear it natural, so I don't know. She just wants, I guess, she just wants a more neater type of aesthetic for the hair. But you know, these girls they find ways to just to find the most minute, uh, surface level ways to pop the balloon that is so trivial. So. Here, so we do still have quite a uh, few balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask the guys a question just to help us narrow it down for you. Okay. Um, if you know what I'm really proud of is the 40 year old because he's making me look good, bro. Like nobody would knew that he was 40 unless he, unless he said it. And so far, nobody has popped his balloon based off them thinking he's old or older. So I'm. Kudos to that, brother. You making the 40 year olds look real good. I love that. And we different kind of breed too, because these motherfucking young niggas, these younger niggas, they look older than us. And us 40 year olds, we're looking their age. You know what I'm saying? So if that's I had up, to ask bro. your friends and family um three words that would describe you, like what would those three words be? Okay. If we can have your name and age and the three words that your friends and family would use to describe you. Yeah. Uh, my name is Eric Ita. I am 38 years old. And the three words I would say, sarcastic, artsy, and why are you laughing? <laughs> and funny. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. Yeah. All right. Name, age, and the three words. Priest, uh, 33, funny ass, N-word. <laughs> you can say the nigga, you can say <laughs> the N-word. I like that. Okay. Say nigga. <laughs> Let's go. He's a comedian, so he'll know what he's saying. If we can have your name nigga. and age and the three words your family will use to describe you. My name is Brian, I'm 40. I would say confident, funny, and spiritual. Okay. All right, name and age and answer to your question. Absolutely, my name is Demetrius, I'm 36. I would say the three words would be determined, charismatic, uh, and giving. Okay, All right. same thing over here, your name and age and the answer to your question. Uh, my name is Ernesto, 31 years old, and I would say loyal, I would say hardworking and honest. Okay. All right. Your name and age and the three words your family and friends used to describe you. My name is Mike. I'm 37. Um, they probably say I'm thoughtful, creative, and funny. I like, I like to sell jokes. So okay. Most definitely. I like that. All good answers. Yeah, you got a whole panel of funny guys, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Tell a joke. Right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have you pop three balloons. Okay. Yeah, based off of, you know, what you've seen, what you've heard, all that good stuff. Okay. Three. Mm -hmm. Three. 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 That's a lot of balloons. I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, two more. This is hard. I know. This <laughs> That's really what everyone hard. says. <laughs> you ready for your balloon? He said, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so hard. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah. And then one more. I ain't even looking at you. I'm all, okay, okay, let's see. Okay. okay, we'll start over here. So why did we end up popping his balloon? Honestly, that was really hard. I'm gonna say that right now. Like, um, if I had to say why I popped your balloon, um, just the attraction level is not there, I guess. Okay. You're very handsome though, very well put together. I like the polo. And you're matching it really nice with your shoes, too. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they zooming on the shoes. Camera <laughs> work. Um, I hate to say that, but it's okay. the height. Okay. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Yeah. I knew it was coming. I was going to get her because I heard she said that to him. Oh. But I wanted to hear you out because yeah. I like tall women. So 
the height <laughs> for me is really not a problem. Okay. The taller, uh, the better. Okay. 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 So, I'm only I'm only five five, but okay. Huh? So you got heels on. So you yeah. So you pushing me out because you got heels on. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm five seven. Five seven. Oh, he's taller oh, than you, girl. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought. Okay. No, I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. And then we. On camera, it make it seem like she taller than five five. I thought she was like five nine, five ten. Okay. Did have one more right over here. Why did we end up popping his? Um, very handsome. Um, you got a lot of jewelry on, and I'm just not really too big on the jewelry. I see. Do you have a gold tooth too in there? Yeah. Permanent. Um, so just just that, just that. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go back <laughs> on over here. So we do have three balloons left unpopped. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask the guys another question. Does anybody have any kids? It's kids. not a deal breaker. I just want to know. I was like, so put so two pick down. Okay. okay. <laughs> How many kids? Okay. Let's go down over oh, there. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. And I think she asked you how many kids you have? I have two children. Okay. Yeah. How many baby mamas? Two. Two. Okay. Yeah. What's your relationship like with them? Oh, we co parent well. I mean, my kids are older, 19, 14, so okay. we've been through the ups and downs, but we had a point where everybody. Yeah. yeah. You said, how old are you again? I'm so sorry. I'm 37. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You good? Yeah. Fine. Okay. All right. So, guys, do we have a question to ask? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Let's start over here. How do you feel about kids? Do you want to have kids? I have a, a 12 year old daughter. 12 year old. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. So. If that's a deal breaker for y'all, let me know. But I do have. You want to have more? Um, I'm up. I'm open to that. Yeah. Right now, I say, you know, huh? but I'm I'm single, so. Right. And I, but yeah, I'm open. If I get married and me and my husband want to have a baby or two, two is all you're getting out of me, though. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. So and they gon' they coming back to back. Okay. They coming back to back. <laughs> okay. uh -huh. You got a question down here. Yeah, it's easier that way to just spread out, like have a kid one year and then wait like five years later like you just have your kids back to back it's just it is them it's definitely better to get it out the way so i agree with that so the same question for you what's your relationship with your children's father um we co-parent really really well um honestly i consider him family um so yeah we and we there's no like bickering, no drama. He's in a relationship. Um, he's happy. I'm happy. Um, it's all about our daughter and what's best for her. So there's really no, it's cut and dry with that. Haven't been with him for 11 years. Okay. Good. Any questions here? All right. So let's say that we end up connecting. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? What kind of dates would you like? Ooh, see, the thing about that is I would like you mm -hmm. to lead that. Mm -hmm. um, I hate when a man asks me, like, what do you, what do you want to do? Like, mm -hmm. if you want to ask me out, I would hope that you would have a plan on what we were about to do. Because I'm honestly down for anything. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. All right, girl. We de oh, oh, okay. Before He's like, wait, before you pop. <laughs> uh, what's the relationship like with the uh, father of your Daughter's oh, I guess child. You hear us oh, you already? Oh, I didn't hear. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. We co-parent very well. He's okay. like family, honestly. Yeah. Um, we don't have any like back and forth. We've right. been broken up for 11 years, okay. um, but we do get along very well, very okay. well. Cool. But there's no like side conversations or nothing. It's just like, hey, Shane yeah. needs this, blah blah blah, blah. and that's really it. Okay. And what's if you if you did want to have more kids, what would be like the timeline? How old how did how old did you say you were? Oh, I'm 30. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what would be the the timeline? In, in well, your... I should be entering school full time in October. Yeah. Um, that's two years. Um, yeah. so after that, then I can start popping them out. But then I do want to become a dentist. But okay. I can be pregnant in school. It's fine. <laughs> I can be pregnant. <laughs> 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 that's yeah. fine. As long. If you was gonna say nurse, I would have popped because nurses are the worst, bro. Like. And they no damn nurse. Yeah. You're okay with me going back to school, like or continuing on with my education. Yeah. Um, I right now provide for myself. I'm not looking for anybody to provide for me. I just want an additive. Um, right. I'm not like searching for you to like give me an allowance or anything like that. I make my own money. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Okay, girl. It's elimination time. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop. Uh, one of these guys' balloons. Okay. One of them? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm gonna pop your balloon. 
Okay, so why did we end up popping his? Just the attraction level between the, th the three of them. Like, it's just, so I had to pop somebody's balloon. Okay. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. All right. But you're very handsome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So we do have our two guys left. Our final question, I'm going to have you ask over to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, your oh, question. Oh. Yeah, your okay, question to them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, my final question. Um, oh, are you guys okay with me having a, a 12 year old? Like, is that, o is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Mm, okay. Fine. Yeah, I think that's uh, a preference, really. I mean, it just depends because we can kind of relate on a parental level. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking to be like a priority above your kid so I can understand. Thank you. Know, you. Being a parent as well, we have conversation. That first girl was tripping, talking about, well, I dated a guy. With a cat, with it, with the child, and he chose his child over me. Duh! What the fuck? Why? Why would y'all think that? Man, unless you married, you're gonna be below the child. Once y'all married, he's gonna put you a priority over the kids. Y'all just be tripping, bro. That's why she ain't matched. Decisions that only parents could have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that. Okay. Okay. Time to make a decision. I'm gonna have you pop one of these guys' balloon. Okay, I have one question. Oh, ask. okay. <laughs> um, you seemed a little, okay, Ooh. perfect. I was gonna ask you the question because you seemed a little bit unsure about my baby, so that works out great. Okay, Eric, why gender popping? Um, I don't like the timeline. I want someone who wants to, wants to have kids. Like right away? Not necessarily right away, but two years, you know, she's going to school, you know. Perfect. Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay. I, I respect that of answer, course. honestly. But I, but she's been looking at me, been looking at her, I think. So we had some, some connection there. Yes. So it's okay. unfortunate. Yeah. But, Got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let me have you come on up here. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why did we end up popping? I just thought about it like, you know, when, when he asked you what you like to do, it's not, it's easy to lead to plan a date as a man. That's mm -hmm. like, but as far as you just sharing your input, what you like, you share with that. He asked you, like, you know, what you like to do. I, I want to know what you like, you know, so that I could yeah. have ideas to make the plan. But, yeah. you know. I answered that in the beginning, though, what I like to do for fun. So when he asked me that, I was like, I literally gave you, like, five things that I like to do. So I wanted you to take the lead. And I did say that's what I was looking for. But I respect your answer. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Well, that's all the balloons popped. Unfortunately, we weren't able to find you a match no today. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming yes, on. Let's go ahead you. and give it up for her. Thank you. And you know what? I kind of take back what I said. I think I would actually uh, approach her. She's actually very attractive. I ain't going to hold you. She's attractive. Um, let me go back. I don't go back. For, but yeah, she, she's actually attractive. So I said uh, uh, she's not my cup of tea. I'm looking at her figure and they're zooming in and stuff. I'm like, okay, she actually is attractive. I would approach her. So I'll take back what I said <laughs> earlier. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Oh, he took his jacket off. It must be hot in there. And he ain't, well, he ain't take this off, but you know, he took his jacket off. He got a sweater on. You know, it's, it's, it's Arizona. You know, that weather out there in the West Coast is ha, dry heat and triple digits. And, you know, that shit crazy, bro. So I can imagine how hot it is. As long as I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry I had to bring up T-Pin there, but on his goddamn show, he had dudes sweating like a motherfucker, bro. Inside. Just imagine how sweaty he would be outside. And he was a golf instructor at that. So, but still, uh... <laughs> I'm glad nobody's sweating. That's a good thing. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Mayowa. Mayowa, how old yes. are you? Mm -hmm. I am 32. 32. Okay. <laughs> and what do you do? Oh, I am a business owner of. Man, why the fuck he's. Why the, this nigga really popped this balloon with aggression and shook his head. There must be some history. They must know her or something like that. I don't know. And the other dude popped immediately too. They must know this girl. Seven years. I'm a lash instructor. Oh, um, shit. Yeah. Okay. Niggas is popping. Okay. And now what are some things you look for in a man? Why are um, niggas popping, bro? What is going on? What the hell? Definitely a great work ethic. 
consistent. I gotta um, hear their explanation. A lover of art, whether it's like music, creativity, painting, mm. anything. Okay. Um, yeah, and someone that's just emotionally available. Okay. <laughs> and now what are some of your deal breakers? The only thing would be like a pessimist and cat owners. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah, niggas don't get mad, especially the Haitian community. But the only culture that I know that I got a bunch of cats is Haitians. I'm, 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 if y'all niggas get offended, I'm oh well. But <laughs> when she said cats, <laughs> I can only think of people that are from Haiti that got a bunch of cats. I, I, this, I, I'm from South Central. We don't know nothing about no goddamn cats. I know about pit bulls, rock rollers, dopamine pinchers. I didn't know nothing about no goddamn cats that I moved out here in, in South Florida. These mo <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> the Haitian community, man. Y'all know why y'all love cats so much. But yeah, man. I need to go back to my childhood when I grew up with pit bulls, German shepherds, rottweilers. You know what I'm saying? Now they got cane corsos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 I grew up with dogs. I did not... I never owned a cat. I dated somebody with a cat, and that shit was ex extremely annoying. She was Haitian, by the way. Extremely annoying. I cannot stand cats, man. So, <laughs> but I don't have any pets right now. I got enough kids as, as it is, so it is what it is. All right. <laughs> so we did get a few pop balloons. Let's yep. go ahead and go on That's over to these lot, guys bro. and see why they ended up popping. <laughs> that okay. is a lot. Let's start right here. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name's Eric, mm -hmm. and I am 38. Mm -hmm. And the reason I popped it is... I don't like heavy eyelashes mm -hmm. and there's something going on with, I feel like the left one is just so heavy. It's way, it's hard for you to keep your eyes open or something. Oh, okay. There's something, yeah. So okay. I, yeah, mm. there's something going on. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, that's, that was the, the, the first thing that caught my eye. Okay. So I'm sorry. Oh, absolutely. That's your, that's your thing. <laughs> it's just a preference. You know? For sure. So, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So. And now is um, Eric someone that's your type? I would say yes, because I, you're Nigerian, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Shady, speak, you speak Yoruba. Yep. Uh, mm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go over to our next guy okay. here. Absolutely. If we can have your name African. and age and why you ended up popping. Yeah, uh, Priest, 33. Hey, you look like a black Barbie doll. Thank you. I ain't got enough money to afford you. Woo! What? Okay, thank you. That was... Okay, that was an interesting answer. And very, if that, that nigga ain't capping, that's very transparent for you to sit there and say that you don't have enough money to date her based off how she looks. And you assume that she's expensive. Hmm. I don't know if to take this dude serious. He said he's a comedian. I don't know if to take this dude seriously and not be trolling. Or I don't know what's going on. But th that's some very interesting answers right there. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Thank you. Yeah, I go broke. I go broke. And I have to file for chapter 11 bankruptcy. Boy, I need four or five jobs to make you happy. Boy, you is, <laughs> yeah, you got some pretty toes too. Yeah, no. Nah. And now I, I know y'all up in the Zoom in the house. She got some nice toes. Yeah, she got and some nice feet. And now is Reese someone that. that's your type? Yeah, she got nice I feet. I would say, uh, yes, I love your style. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. yes, ma Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> yes, <man. laughs> okay, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Reginald. I'm 33 years old. Mm -hmm. I pop my balloon because mm -hmm. I can see through your shirt. Through the bottom of it? Yeah, I not can, the nipples, though. Yeah, I can see through it. For me, that's just a little too much. I don't wear this cross just for any reason. Absolutely. And okay. so, yeah, it's just, I'm not feeling it. I respect it. Wow. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. All right, and now same thing as Reginald, someone if he were. These are some very dope introspective answers as to why they pop. He said the eyelashes. He said, I can't afford you. He said, I see through your shirt. Damn, that is some interesting. Because that's based, that's based off of aesthetics. It wasn't based off of what she said, right? Because they have every right to pop it based off aesthetics. But yeah, very interesting answers, though. What approach you is your type? Um... I I don't go off types just off of looks, so um, hmm. nice I would shot, say cameraman. she got a nice figure too. Nice shot, nice shot, cameraman. Good kudos, kudos. No, mm. okay. 
You want to be specific? Yeah, why? He just has on all black, and I just felt like maybe it just feels like you didn't put any effort. Yeah, but he had a jacket on. I don't know why dude took his jacket off other than the fact that he may be hot. But he had a jacket on um, to offset the black. He had a full outfit on. Into your outfit. <laughs> hey, I respect that. You yes. had a jacket. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Tell her you had a jacket on. All right. Thank you. Let's go on to our next guy oh, here. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Absolutely. My name is Demetrius and I'm 36. Mm-hmm. And the only reason why I popped is just I, I didn't feel a physical connection okay. initially. Mm-hmm. And so that's all. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason. Perfect. Okay. And what about him? If he were to approach you, would you go for that? Um, No. Mm-hmm. Just the height thing. Got it. But that, like, height doesn't matter to me, but if we're just judging off looks, then no. Okay. Yeah, how tall is she? She does look tall. But she's very attractive. I ain't going you. Very attractive. Figures on point. I don't have a problem with the way she looks. Uh, and she's African, too. I've always wanted to get with a damn African female. Um, I think she she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I ain't got no problem with her eyelashes. I don't give a good goddamn if the shirt is see-through. <laughs> My thing is tattoos. I don't like tattoos. She, I, I don't see no visible tattoos. Right, the arms and the motherfucking neck and all this stupid sh- shit like that. She ain't got none of that, but she look good. Got it. No yeah. problem. Thank you. <laughs> all right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name's Ernesto. I'm 31 years old, and you're very beautiful. Thank you. you know, black Barbie, <laughs> physically, definitely 10 out of 10. But just the first impression, because yeah. you know you have to go off of first impressions. You seem very business minded right now and you know i'm looking at the age where i need a a woman that maybe has one thing going on with business and then has more time to kind of develop a family i'm just going off of first impressions yeah but you're very beautiful and thank yeah, you it was very nice to meet you yeah so, you as well yeah <laughs> all right and how are you feeling to make sure it's your type um no no okay why not um his hair mm-hmm. that's all Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Thank you. And then- she nervous. Like, uh, uh, it's hard to be on these shows, bro. And, and everybody has different traits as far as how to show or not show your nerves on it, right? But uh, like I said, she you can tell she's nervous on the show, she, especially when she was clicking her damn heels and then her fidgeting the mic. Um. But it's hard. Like, y'all niggas talking shit in the comment section saying they got to do this, they including myself. Y'all know what it's like unless you've actually been on a show like this. Because it's hard. It's hard. Wait, that's actually, we got one back here before we yes. go down there. Yes. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Brian. Yeah. I'm 40. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't wow. think love have to do with someone's height. I don't think so either. Or with a woman's weight. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the I love talk. You said I don't. Ha- I don't think height has to do with a man's height. Uh, love has to do with the man's height or with the woman's weight. Yeah, absolutely. Right? I absolutely agree. I think love is at first sight. I really do believe that. Mm-hmm. I was kind of loving you, right now, but when you said that, that was like a deal breaker for me, because I'm, I'm the shortest one on the panel, mm-hmm. but I can hold my own weight. I stand on that. Oh, absolutely. And you and should you not have popped your balloon. You was a winner. Mm-hmm. But you almost won. I was forced to say what it was uh-huh. i would have said it in real life right i date short men and tall men okay so unfortunately i'm sorry that's no problem <laughs> she said you shouldn't have pops the height is not really a deal breaker for yeah. her what i heard it though it shouldn't have been said you know so for a shorter man you i'm know, sorry that's that that hurt your like feelings I'm, it didn't hurt my feelings you know it's just that um you might not choose me I want a woman that chooses me as well as I choose her. Mm. So I was choosing you. Mm -hmm. But when you said something, it just disqualified myself. So Okay. Mm. I respect that, though. You're beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go on over here. Mm. (laughs) Okay. Okay, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Mike. I'm 37. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Me and my man got a similar haircut. I know... It's an individual thing, but over haircut, it seems like, I don't know. Your, y'all haircut is not the same. You're kind of like faded on the side, I see. Okay, yeah. And I just, I don't know. I, 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 go, I keep it clean cut. I don't know if you have, had a preference as far as like, you know, just it not, it needed to look a certain way, but it seemed pretty similar. So 
Oh, okay. Hey, you know what I mean, it wasn't nothing personal. I mean, you look good. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm just going to just say, because I'm thinking the nigga hair is a toupee. The nigga right here, <laughs> I thought it was a toupee. Now that I'm looking at his hair closely when he mentioned hair, because I wasn't really paying attention until he mentioned it. That shit, because I don't see a line. You know what I'm saying? It's no lineup. It's just like, I don't know. It's really hard to describe his hair. It looks like a toupee or it looks like it's uh, surgically implanted. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what it looked like to me. And now is he someone that's your type? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> we do have one more over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is James with James Gourmet Pies, mm -hmm. 37. Oh God, here we go, mm -hmm. plugging his damn business. And why did I pop? Mm -hmm. um, you know what, contrary to their beliefs, um, I do love that you're business-minded, professional. I'm a fellow entrepreneur, so it would be lovely to have somebody that understands business and, you know, goes with that. Uh, the other one that I want to contradict a little bit is the height. You know what I mean? Like, for me, I've dated taller women, and there is a stigma around that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, um, either you got to, like, love them because they're taller, or there's, like, a fetish with a mm -hmm. taller, shorter person. I don't know. It was just a problem with dating taller women in the past. So that's mm -hmm. the only thing for me. I mean, very beautiful, but for me, there just seemed to be a stigma around dating taller women can i clarify that i didn't say that he was short because like like that was the reason why he wasn't my type that was just the first thing that stood out I but i date shorter men so i don't know why everyone Can't feels they? yeah that's crazy yeah. Yeah. i did not say i don't like short men okay. <laughs> Even like if you go out to the club or something and you're wearing heels you know what i mean if you wanted to go to a a club I mean, it's as long as you're confident that... enough to approach me, then that's no just problem. that. Yeah, me, I could never date a girl taller than me. You know, I'm already 6'1", so if I date a girl that's 5'10", and she put on four or five inch heels, no. Mm -mm. No. So, I do have a preference. They cannot be no taller than 5'7". So, 5'7 or below, you know? Um, that's just my preference, but yeah, I just don't like dating tall girls like that but like i said this girl's gorgeous she's she's very attractive <laughs> i'm saying like when we dance in you oh you're stomach. saying height is a yeah, problem for you, you were, yeah, oh okay yeah. okay yeah. i mean if you wore flats or something we might be able to you would just have to get low you know what i mean like mm -hmm. in order for so that's all it is for okay cool very beautiful woman thank you i appreciate very it business minded everything else <laughs> 10 out of 10. Okay. I Thank think you. everyone heard what they wanted to hear. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is unfortunately all of the balloons popped. Yeah. We do thank you so much for coming on. Let's give it up for her, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Charday. Charday. And how old are you? I'm 33. 33. Okay. And what do you do? I work in sales for an electronic company, and I'm also a children's book author. Mm, well, nice. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, anything adventurous. So like skydiving. I really would like to go on a hot air balloon before the year ends. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Traveling, trying new foods, cooking, anything that's fun. Skydiving? Uh, no, I'm not doing none of that. I would have popped. Okay. And now what are some things you look for in a man? Honest. You must be honest, intentional with your time. Um, those are the main two things that can tell a lot about a person. Okay. Oh, and not too many kids. Okay. <laughs> what's too many for you? Yeah, what's too many? Um... No more than two. No more than two. Okay. And no more than two baby mothers. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and now, um, is that considered a deal breaker for you? Do you have any other deal breakers as well? That's a that's a that's top a contender. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. So we did get a popped balloon down there. Let's go on over there. See what's going on. All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Mike, I'm 37. Um, it wasn't just the kids, but it's just more so just the energy I can kind of feel that 
probably just be cool, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and what, what energy is, like, what are you getting? Like, just somebody, like, I got three sisters, so, like, I just get that vibe. Like, we just be cool, like, you know, not really, like, romantically. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. And now, is Mike someone that's your type? Yes. Okay. Okay. What makes him your type? Um, I don't really have a type mm. in particular. Um, just him saying he has kids is a, a no for me. You got it. Okay. All right. Thank you. And we did get one right here. If we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. My name is Demetrius and I'm 36. Uh, and I agree. Uh, just the energy. Uh, uh, just I'm a connection feel type of person. And I'm, I'm just not feeling that. Simple, simple as that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Understandable. <laughs> but I do love the hair. You're absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's natural. I love that for sure. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And now is, if he were someone that was to approach you. Yeah. What's her, what's her background? I want to know what she's, uh, her ethnicity is. Cause she's very, she's very beautiful. The hair, all natural, very long. So I wonder where she's from. Is that something you would go for? Yes, it's unfortunate that you popped your balloon. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's head on back this way. So we do still have quite a few unpopped balloons. Okay. So I'm going to switch it on over to you, and I'm going to have you pop two guys' balloons just based off of, you know, what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's the alpha hair, whatever it is. I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So I'll have you hold that. And then you'll pop the two, and then once you pop them, I'll go ahead and ask you what it was about them that you popped. Okay. Okay, and then one more. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, I'll have you stand right there. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was the height. And this nigga will always promote his business. Okay, if we can have your name and age. James with James Gourmet Pies. There you go. Okay, and uh, James, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why? Again, I'm here to hear everybody out. I don't want to do surface level dating. Um, See what she got to offer, what she got to say. Okay, so if you saw her out, is she someone that you would approach? Possibly. Mm. Yeah, possibly. Okay. I love the hair, so the hair would be the initial, you know, conversation starter. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I would hear what you have to say, and if it matched up, then what you doing later? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now, why did we end up popping James Balloon? Um, it was simply the height. That was it. Okay. Got it. All right. Told Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and let's go to our other balloon that you ended up popping, if we can have your name and age. My name is Brian. I'm 40. Okay. And Brian, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I love that she has standards when she asked who has kids and how many baby mamas and things like that. I love a woman with standards, and that's what I saw. Mm, Okay, got it. And now, I know you told him about the height. I'm guessing, is that the same thing happening here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Told you. (laughs) You don't like short men? Not particularly. Okay. That's just um, just my preference. No problem. Mm -hmm. You definitely have a preference. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's head on back this way. So we do have uh, four guys left. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question, just to kind of you know, help you narrow it down, see who's more your match. Um, how do you manage stress mm. okay. and conflict? Mm. Got it. Good questions. How do you manage stress and conflict? Mm-hmm. Okay. Start with our first guy here. We can have your name and age and the answer to your question. My name is Eric. I am 38 years old. Um, I do have a generally stressful job, but I'm I'm easygoing by default. So I try not to, things don't stress me out that much, but Mm -hmm. I'm a dog trainer and uh, yeah, I'm I'm dealing with stressful situations. Um, I do have a level head by default. So I think that I don't, yeah, I don't often feel very stressed out to begin with. I love music. Mm-hmm. So every morning I wake up, I play music. I start my day with some Andy Grammer, some Burner Boy, and I'm always, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? It puts me in a good mood, and then mm-hmm. I'm just good for the rest of the day. How mm-hmm. about conflict? Um, I do like to have like some time between arguments, like 12 hours or so, just to think through it. I don't want to say <laughs> things. I try not. I get burned, man. Let me tell you something. See, he said he needs time apart. 
uh, based off a of conflict. I'm the same way. I don't like to like when there's a conflict. I shut down, and I like to reflect on what happened and just think things through before I try to talk with somebody and resolve the issue. But you know, I'm not gonna say I, I'm gonna just basically say that I've heard someone say, "Hey, we need to focus on the problem, not each other." So yeah, I I I when there's a conflict. I focus on the problem to see how I can resolve it, whether it's negative or positive, before I actually talk to that person again. But I do have to say, after you know, self-reflecting and being transparent with you guys that are watching, you know, I do have a problem with shutting down all communication when there's a conflict because I am actually trying to self-reflect and see how I can resolve my internal issues before I actually speak to that person. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I deal with conflict. But, uh, I don't remember the last time I've called anyone out of their name, you know what I mean? So I like to give some space in between. Some people like to solve the problems immediately. Mm -hmm. I like to think through it. If I'm wrong, I will come and tell you that I'm sorry and keep it simple that way. 12 hours? It's half a day. I have stuff to do, you have stuff to do. We shouldn't be sitting there going back and forth in text messages, you know? So if it feels like it's going to be stressful, take a break and then come back to it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, if we can have like your name answer. and age and then the answer to her question. Priest, I'm 33. Uh, as far as stress, I don't, I don't got stress in my life. Uh, but if I do have stress, that's when I go to the Bible and read it. Because keeping God first, uh, you know, I'm thankful to be alive and breathing as people out here going through things worse than me. Mm -hmm. As far as conflict, uh, I ain't going to. I ain't gonna go back and forth with you. I'm do a comedy show and then I just, yeah, I, I'm 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 a comedian by default, so I'm gonna just talk shit about you on stage. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I handle conflict. So I just that's why I don't have any conflict with anybody I talk to. Mm. So I turn that shit into art because comedy is my full time job. Mm. So he actually gonna turn his personal relationship that he could potentially have with you. And if there's a conflict, he can make you a punchline. But that, what, that's what comedians do. They like to turn their negatives into comedy. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, if you're going to date this guy, that's what you got to deal with. So we'll, we'll see what happens. So does that mean that you're maybe avoiding things if you always make a joke out of it? Got to avoid it, man. I ain't got time to be going back and forth. And that interfered with mm -hmm. my job. And then it interfered with my performance and money. Mm. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Let's go over here. If we can have your name and age and the answer to her question. My name is Reginald. I'm 33 years old. Answer to your question. Take everything to God. Cast your burdens and your cares on him because he cares for you. I found that every area of my life, it don't matter what it is, I can always go to God. He's a counselor. He's your best friend. He's my first love. I heard somebody say before that their mom was their first love. Okay, friend. why the hell he got his jacket back on now? They must be filming this shit at different... Um times or something he had his jacket off the last uh the last girl that and he and, and 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 the girl popped his balloon because you know he had on all black and um that's just weird bro why your jacket back on i guess it's not hot no more unless uh that last one with the last girl was filmed i don't know i'm just thinking about all kinds of crazy shit but anyway, hear what he has to say. He sounds like he's a pastor or something. He's really into the Bible. And um, he says he works with the youth and all that stuff. And I said he didn't really mention his actual title. But it sounds like he's a pastor. That's what it sounds like to me. I think that she's drawn to that too. She, so she may end up matching with this guy. We'll see what happens though. I could be wrong. It sounds like she could be matching with this guy right here. But we'll see. He's my first love because my parents always taught me about Jesus Christ. And so that's how I handle uh, my stress and how I handle conflict. I love to communicate because I feel like it's extremely important. I care about that person. I want to know what's on their mind because I am not a mind reader. I want to know what's in their heart. And I can put my own past experiences in that or I could actually ask you and you can tell me. Um, also, if we are arguing and I realize that the conversation is not really going that well, we could take a minute. It's not going to be 12 hours. 
It's not. I'm gonna try to get back as quickly as possible because I don't want the demons setting in. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pray, and that prayer don't have to be that long. God, you know, give me the grace to be able to do this. But I want to get it resolved so we can get back to loving each other and enjoying our lives. What is your communication style? What do you mean? What is your communication style? Are you talking about texting or talking on the phone? Which that's why he asked. What do you mean? You talking about texting, talking on the phone, talking in person? Because if that's the question, well, I'm going to presume that's what you're trying to say. If there is a conflict, I'm going to talk to you in person. I'm not going to be texting you or talking to you on the phone. So I'm going to resolve the issue in person to see if how we can go from there. So um, that's how I do it. But let's hear. Conversational. Um, that's my interpretation of your question. Conversational. I'm not here to argue, fuss, and fight. Mm -hmm. Can I raise my voice? Yes. Do I like to raise my voice and do I try my best not to? Absolutely. We're not each other's enemies. Mm -hmm. I look at it as more of if we have an issue, I don't mean to sound too spiritual, but I feel like that's the devil trying to come in and mess up what we got going on. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to put my foot on his neck, not my woman's neck. So more so conversational and, and work it out. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, we got one more over here. If we can have your name and age and the answer to her question. All right, my name's Ernesto, I'm 31 years old. And um, to answer your question about stress, um, I have a, a gym routine that I have. Every morning I go to the gym, I walk my dog, um, talking to my partner and uh, you know, through what I do, like modeling and also but through barbering, it relieves my stress because you're focused on one thing. So, um, and as far as conflict goes between relationships, um you just got to be talk to each other face to face not over the phone not text go in and talk it out even if it gets a little dicey not mm -hmm. too crazy a little dicey talk it out and then move on and go from there so okay thank yeah. you mm -hmm. all right so we had four great responses i'm gonna go ahead and have you pop two of these guys balloons based off of what you've heard mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, and then mm. one more. Mm. 12 hours. Right, let's start with him. Why'd you end up popping uh, Eric's 12, 12 hours. Um, just the response. I just wasn't, just wasn't really feeling the response about the stress and the conflict. That's it. Okay. What about it, though? The response yeah, what about it? Like, specifically. Mm. Is it 12 hours or three off of them? Yeah, that, yeah, 12 hours. You really need 12 hours to cool off and not talk to your partner. It's not, it's not about cooling off. It if is, I, though, if you need 12 hours. It is about cooling off and having to really think about what you're going to say to me. Right. You have to think You have to think too hard. I can understand maybe like an hour or two or just how to just control your emotions while we're in the moment. Right. Because we get into a heated argument and you're supposed to be like the one for me, like hopefully my husband, mm -hmm. you're not about to cool off for 12 hours. We're about to talk about it right now. Yeah, I don't like that. So, okay. That's fine. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't like that. His. Why did we pop? I don't like that either. I don't like that either. I can't deal with the back and forth shit. I ain't trying to argue with you and, and do all the other shit and try to escalate it. I want to de-escalate it. Let some time to cool off. Um, and I'll get back to you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm with I'm with Eric, man. I, I I you know, I don't know if it's gonna take twelve hours. Actually, it probably will take twelve hours. I don't know. Um, but I need some I need time to kind of cool off and self reflect and then, you know, recalibrate. And then I'll talk to you, but I'll talk to you in person to resolve the issue and find a root cause. So I'm with Eric for sure. Of his balloon. <sighs> the comedy as aspect. Then you say you're gonna go on stage and make a joke out of it. Hey, turn it into turn it into art. Make that money. Take you shopping. <laughs> <laughs> take you shopping. Okay. We'll talk about the conflicts while we shopping. <laughs> so you're materialistic. Nah, nah. Just talk about the conflicts while we shopping. You or... look like Jordan Sparks, though. You do. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Right. You look like Jordan Sparks. <laughs> so we do still have. Who the hell is Jordan Sparks? I gotta Google her. Jordan Sparks. I don't know who the fuck Jordan Sparks is. Huh. 
two balloons left on pop. Um. Yeah, this is this is Jordan Sparks. I don't know if y'all can see her. That's Jordan Sparks. Right. Uh, she. I don't know. I can't say she does. Oh, she's an American Idol singer. Okay, okay, American Idol. She just light skin. That's it. I don't see her face on the night like Jordan Sparks. She just light skin with long hair, just like Jordan Sparks. Other than that, they don't have the same face. And plus, she already married too. And she got a whole family. Okay. Yeah, she don't look like Jordan Sparks to me. She just light skin with long hair, like Jordan Sparks. But okay, uh, fellas, do we have a question for her? I have a question. Okay, let's start here. I know that she did not pop my balloon when I talked about God, so I wanted to ask you, what's your relationship like with Jesus Christ, if you don't mind sharing? Yes, so my relationship with God is very, very important. Um, I'm just still working to have a better relationship with him. Um, As an adult, I'm hoping to get get rebaptized at the end of the year and find a church home on my own as an adult. Um, Having God and Jesus Christ in the center of your marriage is very, very important. So I would say that I have a, a great relationship with God and it's all about having a personal relationship mm-hmm. and not just hooting and hollering in the pool pit every Sunday. It's Sunday through Sunday, your mm-hmm. personal relationship with God. So that's why mm-hmm. I did not pop your balloon. Okay. Hold on guys, hold on, hold on. Okay, back to it. Let's go. We have a question down here. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I know that you write children's books. I think that's very cool. What got you started in writing children's books? Um, it was a personal experience. Um, so the title of my children's book is Why Do You Talk So Proper? So mm-hmm. I'm sure you can relate, relate <laughs> or can figure out what it's about. Mm-hmm. So it was all about personal experience. Um, And then when I was doing my research, there wasn't a book that existed about that specific topic catering towards black children Mm -hmm. from the experience of a black person. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. that's why I wrote my children's book. That's very cool. Thank you. Okay. All right, girl, time to pop one of their balloon. Um. May I ask another question? Okay, let's do that. How do holidays look like in the future with your family? Love that question. Mm -hmm. Holidays in the future with my family, definitely gonna talk to my lady and see, hey, for this year, do we wanna go to your parents? Do we wanna go to my parents? Mm -hmm. Do we wanna do our own thing? That's just a conversation because it's about us and whatever makes us happy I've had so many years already with my parents, and man's supposed to find his wife, he's supposed to do his thing, mm-hmm. leave his father and mother, cleave to his wife. I'm all about that life, so mm. get me, get me gone. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? Oh, wow. I would say my favorite holiday is Christmas because I love okay. to see other people receive gifts. Um, the last Christmas, me and my brothers, we decided to not give each other anything. Yeah, they gonna match. They they need to match. All right, they just, just, pop, just, just go ahead and match them, man. I don't like this damn these pagan holidays. I don't care about pagan holidays. Every every all, all these holidays are man made. Uh, I have kids, so it's it's like I do have to cater to them in terms of holidays. And not only that, when there's a holiday, they have a day off, so I got to do something with them. You know what I'm saying? But as far as holidays concerned, they're all freaking man made. They're all pagan holidays anyway. Every single one of them, including Christmas, they're all man made holidays. So, um, but yeah. These two, they're overly religious. They have to match, and they, I think they are going to match. Thing, but put all that back into our parents and okay. then to our nieces and nephews because they're little ones okay. and the memories for them. How many siblings do you have? I have a lot. I have five brothers. Okay. I have two sisters, so That'd it's eight family. of us. Where, do you, and I got where are you from? Nephews. I'm from Texas. What part of Texas? I'm from the Austin area, but I live in San Antonio. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> 
All right. What was your question again? How um, how do you envision spending your holidays with your future family? Oh uh, well, I have a very big um, family right now. Okay. Um, I I'm mixed race. Uh, you know, Mexican, black. So we have a That's lot of That's why that nigga hairline uh, looked like that. Damn. You know he got a hairline like uh, Sammy Sosa. That's what he looked like. A, a, a mixture of Sammy Sosa and Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> I'm glad he made, I'm glad he mentioned this damn race, man. Mexican and black. I'm like, what the hell kind of goddamn... This is a toupee or something? This is on your Mexican side, bro. Like, this is the only shit I can think of. I'm like, damn, I ain't never seen no goddamn freaking toupee fade like that before. But hey, man, hey, kudos to brother. You know, kudos to him. You know, I love to take my my future wife, my girl to those get togethers, you know, and uh, maybe go there with them one uh, holiday and then we'll do like, I don't know, a getaway, me and my, my lady for another holiday and just mix it up, you know, whatever. However you feel comfortable, you know, if you want to go with them or we can just hang out with each other, or, but definitely together for sure. Mm. What's your favorite holiday? Honestly, Thanksgiving. Because mm -hmm. you don't really have to buy presents per se and everybody gets together. The kids are there. Everybody's there. So I say Thanksgiving. Okay. And I then love football Thanksgiving. too. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, you said that you're half Mexican? Well, yeah. My mom is, uh, is Cuban, Mexican, and black. And my dad is black. So. So do you know multiple languages? Uh, I speak Spanish and a little bit of French, but Spanish, yes. Say something in Spanish. Um, estás muy bonita y me encaes muy bien. Y si quieres te quiero llevar para una cita cuando se te antoja. You speak Spanish? No. No. <laughs> Why the fuck did you ask that goddamn question then? Say something in this girl is too much. You ask a lot of God. Get to the point. Match with this religious nigga. This preacher passed the dude. Match with this dude. And you just wanted to hear him speak in Spanish because you like the way, I guess you like the language and shit. And these motherfuckers laugh because you don't even understand what the fuck he said. Is he going to translate? Are you going to ask him what he said? He could have cursed your punk ass out. Huh. <laughs> I was just, I was just interested. I would yeah. love to pick up a second language, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so that's why I was asking. I was trying to see how fluent you really were, or if you knew that second language at all. Yeah, no, yeah, Spanish, and then I'm working on my French a little bit. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm sorry. Where are you? Where do you oh, live? Where are you from? Um. Well, I grew up out here in the valley, okay. but I was born in Illinois. But I moved out here when I was a kid, so I think I was like 11. So okay. I'm from I'm from the valley. I'm a valley boy. So okay, yeah. All right. Okay, you got a tough decision. Uh oh. Yeah, y'all got the sure. I would love to hear your answer to how you handle stress and conflict. Mm. Um, <laughs> how I handle stress. Um, up until recently, I wouldn't realize I was stressed. I would have so many things on my plate between work, entrepreneurship, family, and then it wouldn't be until the last minute. It's like, oh my gosh, my body is trying to tell me that I am stressed. So um, I want to say over the past year, I have learned to manage my stress a little bit more by having open communication, taking walks, and just trying to figure out what is stressing me out. Like, what do I need to take off of my plate in order to not be so stressed? Um, how I handle conflict, I would say what I also have learned recently is ask questions right away when it comes to conflict, whether it's with your loved ones, your family, or even your friends before it gets too bad. Cause I have bottled up my, like, I have bottled up things in the past, but I have recently learned that that is not healthy and that's not serving either relationship, no matter what the relationship may be. So now I'm just a little bit more um, forthcoming with questions and just, you know, asking whatever it might be, may be that's bothering me or what I need to know the answer to. I love it. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm going to have you now pop one of their balloons. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I know it's tough. <laughs> yes, it is. This is a great lineup. Okay. Mm-hmm. The Mexican nigga. Okay, why did we end up popping his? Um, nothing like really in particular. I just had to make a decision. I really loved your answers and, and I really like that you're fluent in Spanish. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, gracias. De nada. Oh. <laughs> De nada. De nada. De nada. Okay, let me have you come on up here. Come on up. Come on up. All right. I told you they was going to match. I, I told you from the beginning, y'all. I told you they was going to motherfucking match. I knew it. I, I knew they was going to match. Also, I have one final question. If there's no other questions between the two of you. Okay. How do you define success? I define success as doing what God wants you to do because my role models are in the Bible and a lot of them didn't have money. A lot of them forsook their families just to preach the gospel and follow the calling that God had on their life. My version of success is being in God's perfect will. So that's my version of success. It's not about how much money we have, although I make money and though I provide, but just being the man that God created me to be. And the only way I'm going to be able to do that, I heard you say you were working on your relationship with God. So it's to continue working on it, working out that salvation with fear and trembling all the days of your life. We're not going to be perfect, but we can get as close to God as possible before we finally see him on that last day. Okay. All right. So is it going to be a yes for you for her? It's going to be a absolutely. Uh, yes. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got okay. a man. Oh, goddamn time. With so many damn questions, man. These motherfuckers are asking so many goddamn questions. These niggas, sh as soon as you mentioned Bible and just damn religions and the holidays, that should have been in the discussion. And all these other questions, y'all could have asked that on a date. Good goddamn, man. Y'all just asked so many damn questions, bro. I knew they was going to match, but they just was asking so many goddamn questions. Y'all could have saved that for the date. You know, hopefully uh, when, when Arlette gets her TV deal... From Netflix or or Hulu or whatever network, uh, they should have the catch ups on the date with the cameras. You know what I'm saying? On the first date, I would love to see that. That'll be dope, and you can save those questions on the date. Gotcha. All right, I'll go ahead and take this mic, and you guys can go on off. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Now, see, when the, listen, let me tell you something about these goddamn religious motherfuckers. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear none of these niggas going to the club, going to strip clubs, going to anything that has nothing to do with God or the Bible. Just like that girl, Denisha, I will never forget her. The girl, Denisha, that was on the catch up show talking about she's a disciple. You better not be going on IG live, drinking shots, twerking. Uh, doing all the shit that, that 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 God does not want you to do, and you call yourself a damn Christian. D that couple, they they date better be at a church cathedral. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, they need to be doing something that requires special attention and detail to their doctrine. All right? So yeah. Watch what watch what you lead with. If you lead with that you're overly religious, you better be that throughout. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to them. I'm looking forward for their their catch up though. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. <laughs> Welcome in. What's your name? Hi, I'm Jocelyn. Jocelyn, how old are you? I'm 29. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a systems engineer. All right, okay. Yes. And what are some things you like to do for fun? Mm, are you in tech? Mm. Okay. That, 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 that get, hey, I'm in tech too, so that, that gives me a, if she's in tech, that's a huge, huge green flag for me. And, mm, I like to garden. Mm. I'm a gym, gym babe, and um, I read a lot. Oh, oh, and I binge watch Bridgerton and Avatar. But yes. Yeah, that's okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, what are some things you look for in a man? She sound like Eric's type, the nigga right here. She she sound like Eric's type for real. I could I could see her. I could see him going for her potentially, 
her going for him if that's her type but we'll see mm, i'm trying to be matchmaker here <laughs> i'm the best friend mm. person i can confide in um someone who's funny mm. down to earth ambitious i could go along okay yeah, you know. <laughs> now what are some deal breakers uh cigarette smokers mm. Mm. facts okay. no. facts and tattoos. Right. She ain't got no tattoos either. Like we have any. That I can see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, and we see there's no pop balloons. Okay. So, for the first round, I'm going to switch it on over to you. So, mm-hmm. let me hand you a toothpick. So, here you go. And um, I'm going to have you pop three balloons, just kind of based off what you're seeing, what's not really your type, whatever it may okay. be. You'll pop those three, and then I'll go ahead and ask you why we ended up popping them. All right. Um... You all are great looking young men, by the way. Okay. Um, the short nigga. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. One more. Three. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll start down there since we're already here. Hi. How you doing? Fine. How are you? <laughs> you good. All right. We can have your. Promote your business, nigga. James Gourmet Pies, 37. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And James, you had your balloon unpopped. Why so? Beautiful lady. Beautiful woman. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. All yeah. Right. And so why do we end up popping his balloon? James, I'm a little tall. <laughs> and I'm just a little bit taller than you, James. You ain't pop, you you ain't pop the 40 year old balloon. Like six months, right? <laughs> and I'm going to get that surgery where they break okay. your leg. Oh, hell you know no. what I'm saying? I might be you. addicted to Percocets but because I'm going to mm. tighten them every day. Right. You know what I mean? And that's hurting. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to come back. I'm going to be 6'1". Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you pop two others. We'll start over here. If we can have your name and age. Yeah, my name's Ernesto. I'm 31. Okay. And Ernesto, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, pleasant, beautiful, you. you know, well spoken. Mm. Right. And then why did we end up popping his? You're very attractive, but it was Thank the you. hoop earring for me. Got it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. All right. well, I don't and see no damn hoop earring. One more right here. Is that his other ear? Because that's not a hoop earring. I guess it's his other ear. I don't know. If we can have your name and age. Absolutely. My name is Demetrius, and I'm 36. And Demetrius, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, she's very attractive. Uh, that emotional intelligence is probably top two on my list. Mm-hmm. Uh, it lets me know that you know how to manage your emotions well. And so that was the main reasons why I did not pop my balloon. Okay. Mm. And then why did you end up popping his balloon? I popped your balloon because I am not physically attracted to you. That's all. That's all. Mm-hmm. all right. no but you're a great looking young man. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. So we do still have four balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys a question to kind of help us narrow it down. Oh, okay. Uh, do you all have children? Mm-hmm. How many? Oh, we got three oh, of them. Oh, a kids. lot. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's start right here. If we can have your name and age and how many kids you have. Priest, um, 33. I got one. Okay. He's 10. Okay. That's cool. Name and age and how many kids you have. My name is Brian. I'm 40. I have one daughter. She's 19. Grown woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And name and age and how many kids you have. Okay. My name is Mike. I'm 37. My daughter's 19 as well. And my son is 14. <laughs> Why did we end up popping his? Too many kids, right? One too many. Mm. But you seem like a great father. Definitely. (laughs) Okay, great. Yeah, she's going to go for Eric. I already know. I told you. I'm going to call these niggas. I'm I'm the matchmaker now. You call me the matchmaker, all right? Call me the damn matchmaker. Uh, I'm calling it now. She's going to match with Eric. And I think Eric is definitely going to find a connection with her on a catch-up. Uh, cause you know, the brother's trying, he's trying and he deserves a shot cause he's genuinely looking for love. He's genuinely looking for a connection, a relationship. So yeah, I think Eric is going, is going to match up with this chick right here. I think they are compatible for sure. In my opinion. Why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, I, I like, she she says she, she likes to go to the gym, stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. she seems like she takes good care of herself. Thank you. you. Know? Mm-hmm. She's attractive for sure. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We are down to three. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys another question. Um, what religion do you practice? Mm, okay. Start here with your name and age, and what religion do you practice? My name is Eric, and I am 38, and I'm a Christian. Okay. And what religion do you practice? Christianity. Sorry. 
Oh, you're good. <laughs> he said Christianity. Christianity. Okay, and same thing up here. Uh, I really don't practice a religion. I was raised Christian, um, but the older I get, I like to become more spiritual and try to research things on my own about God. Mm -hmm. So I do have a personal relationship with God, and I think that's all that matters. Religion has nothing to do with it. Okay. That was beautiful. Oh. Okay. Okay. And I agree. Um, I have to keep asking questions. No, no, no. I was. I don't. I thought you were going to uh, add more. You looked um, like you wanted to say more to him. <laughs> no, I. Um, I completely respect that. Everyone's on their own journey, so mm -hmm. that's how you feel. That's how you feel. I respect that 100%. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Let's go back this way. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what do I say? Um, All right. And then so based off of those responses you've heard so far, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop another balloon. Well, two of them had the same answer. Right. And the, Lord. You know what? Let me make it easier for you. Let's have them ask you a question. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Guys? Mm. No one? Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Um, what what kind of engineering are you do you practice? I'm a systems engineer. That's great. That Which was is? my first love. The first thing I did as a child, my dad was an engineer as well, and I really loved building like mm -hmm. laptops, you know, CPUs and stuff back in the back as oh, a child. You get me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I understand that. So that's great. And then smoking as well is my top three. Automatic four point deduction on a one to ten hotness mm -hmm. scale is just no. So I like Perfect. that about you as well. Thank you. Question over here. Yeah. Uh, where are you from? Merlin. Oh. Uh, mm, oh no, Maryland women. She's she's gorgeous, but damn, Maryland, you from the DMV? And you know these motherfuckers from the DMV, especially Maryland, they don't like to be, they don't like to say they from the DMV anyway. Uh, maybe she's different. I don't know. Well, that's a, but yeah, I would ask her where she's from, but Maryland. Interesting. <laughs> Is there something wrong with Marilyn? Uh, when was your last relationship? July 2023. Okay. You still keep in contact with that person? No, I do not. He All stole right. my dog. What? Oh, he stole your dog? He stole my dog. You got any kids? No kids. No kids. How many kids you want? About three. Uh. When you trying to have them? Whenever I get married. <laughs> this, dude, this dude different, man. It's, I, I can't tell the nigga trolling or not. He he different, bro. He different. He a comedian too, so you know he different. Well, I'm sure he using this as a routine in his in his comedy stand up routine. So let's go to our next guy. <laughs> this All right, any questions for her? Yes. Uh, what got you into gardening? It's I'm asking very... that question because. When you get into gardening, you like to watch things grow. I do. And I can tell by this love that we share, you're gonna watch it grow and you're gonna nourish that. So, mm. what got you into gardening? Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh so that was smooth, brother. That was smooth. Bravo to that brother. That was a that was a dope ass lie. She got both of these motherfuckers blushing. He got both of these motherfuckers blushing. That's a that was a smooth lie, brother. Kudos to the brother. And kudos to him being 40 because he represents the 40 plus. That's me. Kudos to that brother. That was a dope ass lie right so, there. Um, I grew up in the country kind of, of Merlin. And mm. I don't know. I was always outside and things like that. And I wasn't always mm. allowed to play with my brothers. So mm -hmm. I found myself still being outside but doing something productive and whatnot. So when I got my own apartment and things like that, I just started growing like peppers and tomatoes. And it was very soothing to see something grow as you just mm -hmm. said, like, mm -hmm. oh, I did that. And then eat what you grew. Right. It's an amazing feeling. Definitely. Sorry. Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, so how soon are you, you talking like marriage? How soon? Uh, whenever we're both ready, mm -hmm. um, I am about to enter my 30s. I would love to have my first child before 32, okay. preferably. Um, so it's that like three years. So, mm -hmm. you know, whenever we have that connection and whenever he's ready, whenever I'm ready, you just going to okay. know. Okay. Uh, you live here? I don't. I live in Texas. Where at? I live in Austin, Texas. I'm in Houston. <laughs> so, so, so who would make that? Who would make? Do you want to live in Houston? Or do you want to live in Austin or somewhere else? Um, I don't ever have a problem relocating. Okay. Um, Houston, I've gone there a few times, but the vibes, the reason why I went there 
was to party. So I don't really know what else there is to do there besides that, but I'm pretty sure Houston's a beautiful place. Okay. Mm. Okay. It really doesn't matter to me. As long as we together, we can go wherever you want to go. Okay. So it really doesn't matter. Okay. But I'm from New Orleans. Okay. Um, I knew it. Been to Louisiana. I knew it. I said that nigga from New Orleans. I could tell by the accent. Yeah. I knew it. I have. Yeah. It's beautiful there. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go back <laughs> this way. Yes. You dodged popping one earlier, so okay. now you got to pop two. I'm going to have to um... eliminate two of them. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. So, Lord have mercy. So I'm going to pop you. Okay. You're a very attractive young man. You look good too, baby. You look good too, baby. Okay. okay. And I'm going to pop you. You're a great looking young man as well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back up here. Come on over here. Come on over. <laughs> All right. So, you know, I always have just one. I do it. Shot away her over. But I told y'all niggas she was going to match up with Eric. I told y'all niggas that. But this dude, he need to bring this dude back on the show. I like this dude. Bring him back on the show. He need his own show. If y'all niggas want to keep bringing motherfuckers back on, you need to bring him back on the show. Okay, everybody, because he's short. The short kings, they always get overlooked. And he a short king that's 40 plus from New Orleans. And he's smooth with it. Got a lot of charm. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Confident. Uh, and, and he's standing on business too, as who he is. I love that, man. Um, but yeah, bring him back on the show. This dude right here from New Orleans. Bring him back. One final question. If there's no others. I don't have a question. You don't? I don't have a question. Okay. So is it going to be a yeah, yes I told for you for her? Yes. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match. <laughs> told you <laughs> You know, this nigga, Eric, he keep matching with the, he matching, he be matching with some very attractive females. The first one was the immature model, but she was gorgeous. She just was into herself and very uh, immature. She's about to turn 30. She's 29, about to turn 30. A uh, system engineer in tech. Wants to have children before 32. He's looking to have children. So I think this is more... I think this they're way more compatible. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to their, to their catch up and see what they got to say. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I already told y'all niggas they was going to match. I told y'all Eric's going to match up with her. Because that's his type. He like the taller, you know, more slimmer frame type of females. And that was definitely his type. I already, I already could tell y'all motherfuckers that. So I'm looking forward to their uh, catch up. <laughs> okay, I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Oh, look at y'all go. <laughs> Let's give it up for them, y'all. Let's give it up. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. Hi. Okay. All right, what's your name? My name is Ryan. What was that? My name is Ryan. Ryan, okay, how old are you? I am 31. 31, and what do you do? I am in a... Yeah, I'm not feeling that outfit. She got on two different kind of pinks. And this latex type of um, pants she got on. I don't know, yeah. Like I told you, y'all need to consult with Arlette and let Arlette dress y'all motherfuckers. Because she needs to be, Arlette needs to be an image consultant for these ladies, man. I would have popped based off her outfit. I'm not feeling the outfit. Event coordinator. Okay. And um, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to read a lot. I have a book club. It has currently like 30 members right now. So nice. I like to have a lot of fun. Okay. And I plan parties and stuff for people, so. My okay. <laughs> and now uh, what do you look for in a man? Um, I look for like a protector. Mm. Um, I look for someone who's strong and someone who knows like what they want. So. Okay. And now what are some yeah. of your deal breakers? Um, deal breakers are like multiple baby mamas. Mm. Um, you don't have like your own stuff. So. Okay. Yeah, those are deal breakers for me. Got it. Okay. Mm. So we did get a few pop balloons. Let's go ahead and go on over to them and see what's going on. Okay. Okay, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Brian. I'm 40. Uh, I popped my balloon because, you know, I don't want to lead you on and fake anything if, if you're not really what I'm looking for. The attraction got to be instant with me. I believe in love at first sight. Yeah. You know, mm. and I would, I, I would never lead you on to think that I'm feeling you like that when I'm not. 
Yeah, I and wouldn't lead you under there, so I respect it. You're beautiful, though. Respectfully. Thank you're you. You're beautiful. Where are you from? Thank you. I'm from Arizona. You're from Arizona? Yeah. Okay. I hope you find your match today. Thanks. <laughs> and now, um, is he someone that's your type? Um, no, he's not my type, so it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what makes him not really your type? Um, I like a taller guy, and then I like a little bit, a different type of look. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really have the look that I like, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go on to our next pop balloon. We can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Demetrius, and I'm 36. Uh, and to piggyback, actually, what she said to him, just, just not my style. No mm -hmm. offense to her. Just not my style. No, no other reason than that. Okay. All right. And what about him? Is he someone that's your type? No, so it's mutual. It's okay. Okay. Respect. Yeah, it's mutual. Respect. Yeah, respectfully. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You guys look good. Everybody's real handsome, you know. Respect. But, yeah. <laughs> nah, it's not for me. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. How you doing? My name's Ernesto, 31 years old. Um, beautiful, great energy, and um, aesthetic, amazing. I just feel like... You know, I'm 31, you're 31, we gotta be straight up with each other. I just seem like we'll be more cool. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I feel like we can go out on a couple of dates, but I think like we're kind of looking for maybe a longer term thing. And I just like to be, you know, honest if we don't feel like that yeah. connection right away. But you're very beautiful and very cool. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I understand. I was in a 10 year relationship, so I'm mm -hmm. not really, um, I'm kind of on the same wave as well, mm -hmm. like as far as that goes. I'm right. Yeah, I'm with nice you. Nice to meet you, though. It's nice to meet you, too, Fran. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Mike. I'm 37. Um, I like your style. I think you're beautiful. I like the way you carry yourself. It's just more so the same, like, homegirl vibe type, cool yeah. cousin type energy. So, yeah. okay. like, no disrespect. No, yeah. Do you get that often? Like people are like, you um, know, no. So I do a lot of business. I'm gonna be honest. I do a lot of business with guys. Okay. So you guys are. It's cool. We can be. Yeah, I, I need more yeah, business definitely. partners and more clients. Yeah, so respectfully, it didn't yeah, work out sure. like this. But I have business cards. So yeah, okay, okay. We can we can all talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> so is he someone that's your type? Um, he's not really my type, but I wouldn't say no. Like mm -hmm. if you ask me on a date, I probably I probably be nice. Like mm -hmm. I probably be nice. Okay. You carry yourself well. Okay. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. James Gourmet Pies, 37. And I popped my balloon kind of for the same thing. Like you get friend vibes. Like I could see us doing business together. You know what I mean? Like I love that you're business minded yeah, and bossy. business, which me. I'm real bossy in oh, real yeah. life, so yeah. I get it. It's okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> let's connect that. They don't like that word bossy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like I'm looking for connections here in Arizona, so. Oh, yeah, okay, nice to meet you, for sure. Uh, likewise. Okay. Thank you. Let's go to our balloon up here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Yeah, Priest, uh, 33. You look good. You look good. Got that, that, that Pepto-Bismol vibe. I, I fucks with it, for real. <laughs> Event coordinator? Yeah. What kind of events do you coordinate? I do all types of events, from political events to birthday parties. If you're familiar with Chic Chef, it's the only black-owned wine bar. I'm their event coordinator for that I, restaurant. I know who she is. Yeah. 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 I'm a, I'll put you on my uncle. Yeah. He, uh, he could use somebody like you on his team as you an event coordinator. So funny. I love okay. this. I got, I got business <laughs> meetings after. I didn't get a date. But so why did you end up popping I your balloon? I got business meetings, respectfully. Uh, I popped my balloon events, so it's like business. You look yeah. good, though. You kind of got like an Angela Bassett vibe about you, Tina Turner style. But, nah, you, you look good. But I'm going to put you on with my uncle. Okay. Yeah. For sure. I'll, I'm going to give you his contact information okay. put you on. You look good. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So is he someone that's your type? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say my type, but kind of like with the other guy, too. Like, you know, you guys are – I like your aesthetic as well. You Which one? You dress cool, so – the army pants, he was nice too. That's my older cousin. Oh yeah, see, we're brothers, <laughs> we're happy. Really? Okay. But yeah, so um, not really necessarily my type either, but. Yes ma'am. Yeah. Yes ma'am. Okay. All right, well that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately. Thank you so much for coming on. Let's give yes. it up for her guys. I'll take the mic. Thank, Thank you. All mm. right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Welcome, welcome. I'll have you hold this. What's your name? My name is Kay. Kay, okay. And how old are you? I'm 31. All right. And what do you do? 
I am an entrepreneur. I sell lip glosses. Okay. My business is called Cater Beauty, and I also I brought you some lip gloss. Oh, look this at is for you. you. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you for bringing me on. <laughs> I'm also a singer and a dancer. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Yes, and I nice. produce television shows too. Okay, you. Are yeah, the only thing I don't like is the long eyelashes, but everything else is on point. You know, I dated somebody with this bald, blonde, short hairstyle, and her aesthetics fits that style to a T. She definitely got the the head shape for that. Uh, just I don't like the long eyelashes, uh, but it's not a deal breaker. But as far as her aesthetic, she's on point. She's she's attractive for sure. Or busy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things that you look for in a man? Um, I look for a man of integrity, mm -hmm. um, a godly man, a righteous man, a king, a man that knows he's a king. Um, I like a generous man too, a man that's sweet to me. Mm. Um, a guy that likes to be healthy. Okay. Um, cause I like to be healthy. I like to eat well. Um, and a guy that actually likes going outside. And respects nature. Okay. Yep. All right. Now, That's what are right. some deal breakers? A deal breaker. I don't like a liar. Mm. And I don't like a man that doesn't like vegetables and likes to drink water. <laughs> doesn't <laughs> like to drink water. That's what I don't like. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay. Okay. So you're going to pop a nigga balloon because of his diet. That's different. <laughs> we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Demetrius, and I'm 36. Mm -hmm. And I just pop my balloon just because you, your ambitions, which I like. Uh, I, I would prefer someone that's career focused in one lane, right? That five, four, or five different things. It just means your time is spread thin, mm -hmm. and I can't build without having time to build. Okay. And that's the only reason. That's fair. Okay. And now is Demetrius someone that that is your type? I don't know. I don't really know him that well. I can't say. Well, that's good. Okay. That's fair. You look nice, though. Thank you. You yeah, too. Okay. Thank you. Too. Okay, let's go to our next guy here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. How you doing? My name's Ernesto. I'm 31 years old. I wanted to say um, aesthetically very beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, great energy, beautiful energy. Thank you. And um, I just think that, which is not a bad thing, you have a lot of businesses going on and stuff. And I'm just looking for a woman that's more focused on one business lane, and then we can do our family thing too and I, I'll, I'll have the three jobs you know what I'm saying so yeah. that's just how I am but like I say you're very beautiful but you just seem very busy mm -hmm. so, I understand that yeah you know I'm not for everyone mm -hmm. I get it okay and now if um, Ernesto were to approach you is that something you would go for if you approach me sure I mean I don't know like I don't know him so mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. I mean you, you look good so thank you you too yeah thank yeah. you so mm -hmm. all right let's yeah. head on back this way okay so we still do have four unpopped balloons okay. so I'm actually uh switch it on over to you okay I'm gonna have you pop two of the guys balloons just kind of based off of what you're seeing you know at style whatever it may be I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop two of their balloons so let me hand you a pic okay Oh, man. I know. Everyone says this is tough. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll just pop those two, and then I'll go ahead and ask you, you know, pop what about two. them? Yep. Dang. I can't ask a question? Not this round. <laughs> I'm like, what? What am I going off of? You go ask the question I'm not really that the next person. round. Mm. Um, okay. Pop two balloons. <sighs> okay. So we actually did get a popped balloon. So let's mm -hmm. go on over there, see why he ended up popping his balloon. Yeah, let's see why he <laughs> okay, if we can start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. James Gourmet Pies, mm -hmm. 37. Promote your business. And why did I pop my balloon? Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I love the fact that you're entrepreneurship minded, you know, and you have a good energy about you, right? I popped my balloon because. I don't know if there's like that relationship bond there, you know. Um, I'm five seven. I haven't gotten my height um, surgery yet, so yes, if you yeah. give me about six months to a year, I'll be six four. You but right now, like nigga, no. you don't. Sorry. I hope. I thought he was just joking with that shit. He keeps saying the same shit that he gonna get surgery. No, nigga, you don't need no goddamn surgery. There's ladies out there that are gonna accept your height. These ladies talking about they need a man. Again, most ladies are going to be like, they want the three sixes. Six feet tall, makes six figures a year with a six pack. You're lucky to get one out of the three. Lucky. 
but having a probability of landing, let's just say one, is is high. I mean, not high. Landing the probability of at least one out of the three is extremely, extremely difficult for you to find somebody at least for one of those requirements, right? So, but for yourself, for being short, and being overlooked because of your height, don't let that discourage you, brother. You know, short kings will get attention and should get attention. Um, but I would say this, you always leading with your business. It don't sound like you want to uh, match with somebody. It sounds like you just want to promote your business. You know, so it is what it is. At least that's my take on this guy right here. Are you going to have high surgery? I'm not. I'm not. Oh, wow. But um, Okay, okay, okay. Just- he keeps saying the same shit like he going to have high surgery. Uh, but... Even though he's a he joking, but keep don't 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 keep saying the same shit, brother. Right now, like without heels on, I need somebody five seven or shorter. I feel mm. you. I don't need that, but I would prefer that. I would prefer okay. five seven or shorter. So all right, but let's connect business wise. Oh, we are we, oh we could do that. We could definitely <laughs> do that. Yeah. What's definitely. your name? I'm James. James. Okay. Yeah. All James, right, James. Gourmet Pie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk after. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we do have three balloons left. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys a question just to kind of help you narrow it down. Okay. Um, hmm. I would like to know what is your best and worst quality? Okay, let's start here with your name and age. Priest, I'm 33. Uh, best quality is attention to detail. And my worst quality is like time management. Mm. Yeah, mm. I'm still working on that. Okay, okay. that's a, that's a good transparent answer. Yes, ma'am. You got a lot of things going on. You gotta prioritize. Got too much shit going on right now, ma'am. What do you do? I'm a comedian. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love mm. to laugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'll put you on with my uncle Charleston White. <laughs> that's your uncle. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. Your uncle is Charleston White. That's why the nigga be acting different. Okay. Charleston White. Yeah, everybody knows who Charleston White is. Is that that nigga that be going viral every time he talk? Oh, okay. Didn't know that. Everybody, this nigga said his cousin is the dude in the fatigue. And did he say he related to Charleston White? Ah, damn. Okay. All right, next, guys. If we can have your name and age and what is your best and worst quality. Mm -hmm. My name is Brian. I'm 40. uh, And my best quality is I'm very well spoken. Um, Mm. I like to listen before I speak. Um, so that's why the words come out well. Um, my worst quality is um, not faking it. Okay. Mm. Not nice. faking it. Nice, nice, nice. Right. All right, cool. Okay. All right, thanks. Let's nice. go over here. Name and age, and what is your best and worst quality? My name is Mike. I'm 37. Uh, best quality, I'm pretty down to earth. Like, I'm pretty understanding. Not, not too much I can't really understand. Mm-hmm. Um, worst quality, I probably could, like, be more outgoing. I'm, I'm, I'm an introvert, so I like to, you know, chill. I like to keep the scene versus like being the one that's getting the attention. You know, I'm real to myself a little bit. So. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. So you got a little bit more now. I did. So you know what that means. It's time right. to pop. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop one of these guys, balloon. Um. Okay. Mm 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 mm. <laughs> I'm popular. Okay, why do we end up popping his? It's the height. It's the height. I don't know. I just don't feel like we would make a really good couple. Why do you think that? Why do I think that? Yeah. I really don't know. All of you guys have really good answers. You sure it's not about the height, huh? No, it's not about the height at all. Yeah. Mm, I'm not even somebody. I can't even pop on looks. Like, I'm not that kind of person. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I just, for some reason, vibe wise, I don't think that we would make a good. Yeah. Me and him was thinking the same. I thought it was because of his height, but okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's funny because I think we make a great couple. You think so? I believe that. Okay. Yeah. I think that, you know, but, Mm -hmm. you know, it's it's okay. I respect your decision. Okay. Thank you. You you might have a different preference, but you, my preference. I was going to stay to the end. Okay. You know, and I got some tall guys that's, that I'm going up against, so I got I got I got a lot against me already. So, but I'm willing to fight through that. You know. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Hey, definitely. I know that's right. <laughs> okay. I know that's beautiful. right. You're very Thank beautiful, you. and I hope you find your match today. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate that. So we do have our two guys left here, fellas. Do we have a question for her? 
down yeah, there? Right. You have one? Let's start here. We're already here. <laughs> yeah, I got a question. Who you think cute, me or my older cousin? Huh? That's your older cousin? Yeah. Y'all both cute. But you're going to have to pick. <laughs> I have to do that right now. <laughs> no, after he asks you the question. Oh, after he asked me a question? Yeah. Okay, well then. Let's, your qu okay, let's, the question. Yeah. let's go ask him. I'm about to say, I don't let's go over here and ask him. <laughs> What's your question, sir? I just wanted to know where you, where you were from and then how do you feel about men with kids? I'm from Dallas, Texas. Okay. And I would prefer him not to have kids because okay. I don't have kids. But I'm open minded. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't let her finish. She says she would prefer, so I, want, I don't want her to settle. I want her to get exactly what she wants. She I feel that. Money. I appreciate that. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you did have your balloon unpopped. Like, is she someone that is your type? Yeah. Other than I, I have two children, so you know, um, 19, 14. I'm I'm very interested. If anything, I think you're very beautiful. Like the way you carry yourself. You said you're big on health, stuff like that. I'm into that. So yeah, I would have kept, but I mean, I don't. I'm, maybe I should have held on, let you make the decision. But yeah, at the same I was time, I'm open-minded. But okay. I mean, you. I take a balloon back and then I let you make the decision. Yeah, get your balloon okay. back. Hey, look, can we crazy. get a balloon back? What about, Let's get a balloon what about back. Uh, the, the, what about the short <laughs> dude? Let me finish. From New Orleans. <laughs> like I said, I want you can't to let him get his balloon back. Balloon. Okay. All right. Do you have anything else you want to ask or anything before you make your decision between them two? Oh my God. Um, I can ask them both, right? Of course. Um, hmm. What's your relationship like with God? Do you have a relationship with God? Absolutely. Number one, I believe uh, I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ as God. So okay. um, mm. just based on my experience, you know, I know what the truth is. So mm. that's without God, you know, what would that's you what's have? Up. That's what's up. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's head on back this way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And what is your relationship like with God? Uh, I believe in, I believe in God. Um, I've went through a couple of tough times in my life and, so out of nowhere, I was blessed to get up out of that stuff. So I've been reading more into the Bible. And, yeah, God is number one. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my mama, she's big on, you know, telling me to put God first in my life. Because without God, you know, you would gain the whole world and lose your soul. Mm-hmm. All right, girl. Mm -hmm. Time to make a decision out of these two. Whose balloon are we popping? Can I ask one more question? No. Oh, <laughs> you can ask them on a date you when you damn... get to know them. <laughs> okay. You let that damn religious girl ask a whole bunch of damn questions, Arlette. Why are you going to let her ask more questions? Huh? <laughs> hey, uh... hmm. Wait, do you have kids? That you is do? a question. How many? I got one. You have one? You ten. Okay, and you say you have two? Well, how, what are the ages? 19 and 14. Oh, they grown, grown. And you said yours is 10? 10. One baby mama? Two? Two baby mamas. Oh, man. Come on, y'all. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, you pop. I okay. wish I could, but he, he ended up getting his balloon back. So I was like, damn. I know. You look good, though. You got Thank some you. Jada Pika vibes on you. And I know for a fact that you're going to have a lot of men on you. And I, I wouldn't want to come up slapping shit out of nobody. Cause they, <laughs> you know what? I like that. I like a protective man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got the Jada Pika vibes, though. I dig that. Mm -hmm. I, dig, I dig the haircut. All right. Let me have you come on up here, Mike. Oh, no. We stay up here. Lucy. Okay. <laughs> All right. So any final questions before we determine if this is a match? I know the two baby mothers kind of rubbed you the wrong way, right? Oh, so was that, was that, were you about to pop my balloon or? I don't know, I was thinking two baby moms, but they grown though, it was just a long time. Yeah, a long time. Mm -hmm. um, now, no were you questions. married? No, no, never married. Never married, okay. It's kind of young, moving kind of, kind of fast. Right, mm -hmm. How, you said you're 37? Mm -hmm. 37. But yeah, no further questions, I guess, you know. Please. I mean, I'm, um, I would like to get to know you better. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. Right. So now I'm going to ask, is it going to be? to that. Perfect. So is it a yes for you for, him, for her? It's a yes. Okay. And is it a yes for you for him? It's a yes. Okay. We got a match. Yeah, right. I'll go ahead and take this mic right. and you guys can go on off. <laughs> oh, everybody holding hands. <laughs> <laughs>
Mm. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you're in the U.S. and you'd like to be featured in any of our upcoming episodes, the email address will be in the description box below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you all next time. Make all right, cool. That's what's up. That was the end of the show, man. Um, this is a long episode, so I had to, you know, I still had to take calls, and I, I got stuff I got to do, too. I got to take calls and reply to emails while I'm doing this shit, so... Uh, but overall, it was a, it was a good episode. There, I don't think there were any like super viral moments like the previous episode, uh, because it wasn't it didn't have no catty vibes. Niggas wasn't trying to go tit for tat and back and forth and name calling and shit like that. So it wasn't on that level. It was on the grown man vibe tip, the the grown the grown and sexy tip, I should say. Uh, but overall, it was a good episode, man. Um. I'm looking forward to the catch-ups. All the matches, Eric, the religious couple, I'm looking forward to the catch-ups to see what they got to do, what they got to say about their uh, their matches. I think this dude right here, the 40-year-old, he needs to have his own show. Uh, I think he definitely has a very good demeanor. He is uh, very confident. He stands on business. He is a very charming, very charming guy. Um, and thoughtful. Um, so I think he definitely needs his own show for sure. Uh, but overall, pretty good show, man. Um, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts on that. That's my reaction, family. If you made it this long, I appreciate you. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. That helps me with the channel to grow. I'm trying to get 10,000 subscribers before the end of this year. I think I can do that for sure with your help. But until next time, family, signing out. Peace.